Jessica's Dressage Explain Part 14. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a very, very exciting welcome. And I've got to say, guys, deservably so. I am so grateful for all the, all the support you guys have been giving me. The things that I had in my mind to do over the next 10 years seem to be happening over the next 10 minutes, which is super exciting. So thank you for your support. Thank you for helping me grow this channel so much. And I hope that I can keep doing you guys proud and keep helping you as well. because we're like, oh, it's a really good question. Kathleen Humberg, we've said that name today. You got two questions, Kathleen. You've got epic questions. So Kathleen's question is all about rugging and choosing of rugging, cool rugs, and then I'm gonna take a little bit further and talk to you about rugging in general, okay? So first of all, come on in to meet Wessel. Well, we know Wessel, but let's come on in. Now, rugging you need to use seldomly okay rugging can actually be not a great thing some countries especially oz which is really weird because it's hot there guys <laughs> you over rug and over rugging can cause so many major issues okay so first things first is minimal rugging that you can do okay you want to keep them so when you put your hand in here it feels warm but not that it feels hot, okay? So it needs to be that you go, oh yeah, that feels like a comfortable temperature for skin to feel, not that it feels cold like my face does, but absolutely not that it's like I'm snuggled under a doona warm. It's to take the chill off, to take the edge off, not to make them hot. Okay, that's one really important factor to think when you're rugging a horse. So one horse in the same weather with the same coat is gonna need less or more rugs than another horse in the exact same scenario. It's very, very personal. How do I measure it? Best place actually is to measure it over their kidney. Hand under, find their kidney, and it should feel body temperature. It shouldn't feel warm or hot. It shouldn't feel colder than outside, but it should feel like it's just comfortable. No clamminess to it, no stickiness, and not where you're like, oh, I wouldn't want to keep my hand in there too long, I'll start to sweat. It just needs to feel comfortable, okay? That's the purpose of rugging, step one. Step two is perils of rugging. Neck rugs can rub out manes, okay? So if you can keep your horse warm enough that he doesn't need a neck rug, don't put a neck rug on, okay? That's the first thing. In terms of what rugs to use, good fitting rugs are really, really important. However, especially if you've got lots of horses, and especially if those horses change shape a lot, you can spend a fortune trying to get rugs to fit properly. They might fit right well when you buy them, then you wash them once and they don't fit again. They start rubbing their shoulders, etc. A little trick that I discovered many years ago is the amazing use of a walker rug. So this rug that we've got here, this is a walker rug. So this rug is made for a horse to go on a walker and walk and still keep their back warm. And the purpose of it is that because it doesn't go over their shoulders, they don't get rub marks from the rug. And I went, well, we're trying to keep their kidneys warm. Why do we need something to cover their shoulders? And I decided, you don't. So all of my horses have this rug on first. And if that's enough, that's all they wear. Okay, and it keeps their shoulders open so they don't get rub marks and things like that. Then if you need a little bit of additional warmth, you can pop another rug over the top like so. But because it's almost got the barrier of that, it takes it off the shoulder a little bit. So it's not hard up against the shoulder and you just don't get rub marks. So it's a really, really, really cool little trick that I've discovered over the years. And I must admit, even when Toby started with me, he thought I was nuts. I'm like, just put the walker rugs on, that's what I do. And you can see him going, uh, you're the boss, but that's a dumb idea. And <laughs> he's laughing because he's like, so true. And it was only actually a little while ago, he's like, the walker rug's a good idea, I take it back. <laughs> so, <laughs> is that true? Wait, I better turn it around so I can make sure he's it's a nod, I can't hear you. <laughs> there we go guys, it's on film, it's official. <laughs> so the walker rug's a great idea. What other rugs might you need, okay? Really, the only other thing you might need is 
what we call a cooler rug. So what you don't want to do is when you wet your horse after he's been sweating, or even once he's cooling down, you don't want these rugs that he wears all the time to get full of water and full of sweat, okay? And you also want to make sure that he's completely dry. So these cooler rugs, and I'm not sponsored by Lemure, guys, it just happens to be a good one. These cooler rugs, they have this bit that goes over the top of their back and it actually pulls out the water. Now, I used to think it was a bit of a gimmick and that just a fleece rug would do the same job. Honestly, these really do work well. And when you pick them up, they're actually heavy. They're full of water. So one of these is a really great investment if you're in a cold climate. When you wet your horse, put one of these on, five or ten minutes, they are dry as a bone. It's called a... Mm, I don't know what it's called. I'll put it in the link. It's, oh, here we go. A Thermo Cool Lemure rug. And again, I'm not sponsored by Lemure, so uh, Lemure, throw me a few, few free rugs, hey? <laughs> but no, genuinely, it is just a really, really good rug. So highly recommend that. The only other thing you could use is when you're warming your horse up or when you're tacking them up, you want to make sure that their kidneys don't get cold, okay? So a little quarter sheet, like so, that you can just pop over their quarter, if I take you to Wessel again so you can see, just sits just over their quarters area like that, protects their kidneys so the kidneys don't get cold, and then it can attach to the saddle as well. So if you plan on not making, having too much of a huffy puffy ride, just a stroll, you can keep it on him, and you can also keep it on him in the warm up and the cool down. So he doesn't go from warm to cold and cold to warm, which is gonna cause um, little colds and flus and things like that. Basically, that should be your rug repertoire. You shouldn't need too much more, okay? Maybe a waterproof if they're out in the field, etc. But this little repertoire should get you through. Wash them lots, look after them, and they should last you a long, long, long time. I hope that helped, guys, and I hope that sort of broke through the barriers of what to rug your horse. So I hope you enjoyed that guys. Don't forget to bond with your horses. Don't forget to love your horses. Don't forget to have loads of fun. And guys, don't forget to subscribe.